handwriting, it's a range of different things. It could be my family, my friends, um, events that are happening, uh, or more specifically, it could be to a brief. If I get a songwriting brief, I'll have to write specifically about something. Um, yeah. My ideal creative scenario is sitting at a table with the likes of either Laura Marling or more Poppy Adele or the likes of Two Nards and those guys and having a huge jam session and working off everyone's ideas and being creative together, I guess. Who would it be? Mm, that's a really, really hard question. One of my favourites at the moment would be a band called The Internet. I think they've actually broken up, so it's probably not likely going to happen. Why? Because they are a group of, I think, four or five people, and they're all producers, all musicians, all songwriters, and there's just so much creative flow going around that I would, I, I don't know, I'd just love to be influenced by them, and, and they could bring me into their world and teach me a lot of things, I guess. Co-writing is something that I do quite frequently. Um, a few songs of my album are co-written with uh, a fella called Stephen McCann. He's in a band called Two Fools. And I love just, again, bouncing ideas off other people. And you can't be, I'm not an amazing drummer, I'm not an amazing bass player. I can kind of do guide tracks for everything. And then you give it to somebody like that who has, it's putting two heads together basically. And um, creating like a melting pot. And I guess just going outside of your comfort zone. And yeah, that's pretty much it. In the coming months, well, I'm currently writing and recording my album, so I've got about 14 demos done at this stage. So I want to get them to a standard that I'm really, really happy with. I'm quite under the radar for the moment. I, I don't really gig that often, but it's something I'm going to start doing now a lot more because I have a body of work that I'm proud, proud of, I guess. Uh, so I'm working with a couple of producers, a couple of mixers, and um, we're going to get the tunes out there and hopefully blitz the Dublin music scene next September and get a single out there.
I don't know, it's between home or take me love. Uh, yeah, I wrote take me love when I was away in Holland. And I started in the dressing room. And then like, I got halfway through it. Called for sound check. Went down, finished it in sound check. And then done it that night. And got a really good response for it. Um, that's a good one. Or else home would be like my most personal song. It's like really deep meaningful song. Probably, probably home, yeah, go home. Yeah, I've done a lot of it. Um, my best friend is Gavin James, and wrote a couple of songs with him. And yeah, definitely. Uh, I find it easier to write with people. Like when I'm on my own, you get nervous of what you're saying. Like sometimes they, oh, people are gonna think weird about that. But if you're writing with somebody else, they're like, oh, that's alright, that's cool. And they come up with something even worse, and you're like, alright, that's it. We've been through all this before. I don't. <laughs> I went on a half writing for four years, couldn't do it, um, don't cover gigs for the whole time, and that, that was the problem really, I went home and I didn't pick up guitar after I was gigging, but now I just tend to write down as much as I can, and yeah. Bash at it, keep playing, keep doing as many gigs as you can, text as many people as you can to try to get on support slots, and I'd say maybe even do cover gigs as well because I'd be nowhere without them. Definitely wouldn't. Honey, I do. Come on, months. I have uh, my album coming out. It's a live album. You recorded it in Amsterdam in the Paradiso. Um, and it's sounding really cool. It's coming out next two weeks, which is really cool. I have a tour with Gavin James around Ireland and Europe. Um, a tour with a girl called Tash Tana. That's around Ireland and Europe as well, and I'm gonna do my own tour of Ireland at the end of the year. Why the success in music? Success in music. Uh, I don't know, just to keep gigging, not have to get a day job and just be able to play music for the rest of my life. Simple as that. Darling, I was young and proud Just to tell you how I felt or how it sounds Cause you knew And you knew But I lost you anyway Cause I Know I never did try in all the things you like And I've lost you by tonight And I won't say goodbye Even when the rain comes in And I wait another night And every town I play around I just hope to see your face out in the crowd So every night you let me down I'll just wait for you right here My heart is bound Cause you
Thank you.